Hey guys, this is uh, Jetta Man Dan doing uh, another review for uh, RCSpeak.com. What I'm reviewing today is something that I actually bought myself and now use for all my LiPo batteries, uh, which is this uh, Hobby King uh, Parallel Charge and Balance Board. Basically what it is, is a, uh, a board that you can use to charge multiple LiPos at the same time that are the same milliamp capacity. Now what it is is that when you have a charger like this, and I use the Thunder AC6, um, a charger I like a lot, um, but of course the one drawback is that you can only charge one pack at a time. So when you are going to prepare for a day of flying and have multiple planes that you're flying, of course, charging one pack at a time at a 1C charge rate can take a while. Um, you could be charging all day to get, you know, six, seven, eight packs um, all together done and, and ready to fly. So one of the things that I had looked into was making my own uh, double balance port of some sort um, and trying to charge multiples. Now, of course, you can take two packs and you can do a wine harness for them and charge them in parallel, but then you can't balance them. And one of the things I've learned to do is balance my packs uh, every time. So I found this, uh, this, uh, this charge board on Hobby King's website, and all of my packs that I use for my airplanes and helicopters are Dean's. And this board is cool because it's one of the options it has was a board that was all Dean's. They have ones that are XT60s as well. And basically what you are able to do is charge up to six packs at a time. The board even comes with these little uh, caps so you can cap off the ports that you're not using. Uh, I usually charge anywhere from two to four packs at a time with this. So it's actually, uh, I leave the other four parts, uh, four ports uh, open um, you want to want to make sure that you know that these ports will all be live when the board is active So if you're not using one of them don't touch with any metal or or any kind of wire because it will short So in essence all this is doing is it's going to replace your uh, Your balance port so you're going to unplug your your balancing board from the charger and then you're going to plug in the uh, the balance tap port from the board into the charger and I found that this worked perfectly into the AC6 with no problem so I'm going to plug that in so that's plugged in and then all you do is you then plug in the power lead from the board to the power lead from the charger now I have a squid connector so it has a bunch of different connectors on it and I do have a Deans on here so I'm going to plug this into the uh, Deans port Do that with one hand. So that's plugged in, and that's all there is to it. Basically, you plugged in the board um, to the balance connector on the charger and to the Dean's connector on uh, whatever uh, charge leads that you have. And what this does is it's actually got an individual port and a balancing lead for each battery. Now, I found just by trial and error that the way this is set up is that this bottom port works with this set of uh, tap leads for the balancer and then this second port this top one goes to the right and then so on and so forth bottom left top right so that's very simple to, to just look at now what i have here for example are three batteries that i use i use them for my airplanes and my helicopters they're thousand milliamp 3s packs and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just show you how you can charge three of these at once i have it set up that i can do four um, the only thing you're going to be limited by is your charger the AC6 won't do more than 6 amps, so technically I could do 6 of these 1000 milliamp packs, but I try not to push my charger too much uh, if I can. And the one thing you definitely want to use if you can, is I picked up this Electrofly uh, cell match balancer and, uh, and battery display. And what you kind of want to do, if you can, is plug this in and check all of your LiPos before you use them and find out what their battery capacity is. So this is showing 3.82 volts per cell and I have these all checked so they're all real close. Um, the one thing you don't want to do is try to charge packs that are at different states of charge or discharge. All of these I know are about 3.8 volts per cell where I like to store them. Um, you can't have a battery that's like 4.1 volts and one that's like 3.3 because the capacities are technically either half full or half, or, or half empty. And the problem you run into is that the charger is trying to balance all three packs. So you want them as close as you can get them uh, uh, if you want to do it that way. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to plug in one pack at a time. And again, bottom one then goes to the, uh, the left side of the charge leads. And you got to manipulate the pack to, to 
to get it to connect. So that one is now plugged in. So there's one battery. And then, as you can pretty much guess, you do second second battery. If I can get it plugged in. So second battery is connected there. And I'll connect the balancing lead at some point. So there the second battery is connected. And then I'll do the third. So the third is connected. And then the third to its balancing port on the board. So there we go. Basically what you then have is three packs ready to go. I definitely recommend if you have one to use a uh, um, use a lipo safe bag if you've got one. I just think it's a very good idea. Um, I have one here that I like to use. It's big enough. It's a big lipo bag that I got from uh, I think I got from Hobby Parts. And you can see with this big of a bag, you can actually fit all the packs in there with the board, and it's just a very good idea for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to put it in the bag, but as you can see, each battery is now connected to the board and ready to go. So because these are three uh, 1,000 milliamp packs, I know that basically um, I can do three amps because each pack is 1,000 milliamps. You add them together in parallel, so it's one amp per pack, so it's three amps. And what this basically does is make this board allows us to act as basically making these three packs as one big 3S pack that is 3,000 milliamps. Um, so you can charge it at a, at a 1C rate. So I have it set at basically a, a 3 amp charge on a 3S pack and I'll start it it'll check it recognizes all packs so I hit stop start and then even though it's blurry it's saying that each that the balance is actually working it's at about 3.88 3.87 for each one and what this is actually going to do is over the next 45 minutes or so it's actually going to feed one amp into each battery and balance them and what this really basically does is just save you a bunch of time. You don't have to charge each individual pack and then hook up another one and then keep going. Basically, this will cut your charge time down by however many packs you're doing it. I know that when I go to the flying field, I like to take, you know, 10, 12, 15 lipos with me. And before, I used to sit there all day and charge batteries or bring my charger to work and sit there all day and charge pack after pack. Now, in the course of two or three hours, I can get 10 packs charged up, and you're good to go. Now, what you need to make sure you do, though, is that none of these packs can be a different milliamp rating. You can't have, like, a 1300 with a 1000 or a 1600 with an 800 or whatever. The packs all have to be the same amperage rating so that they can all charge at an even rate. And what I've actually found is that when I've had batteries that have been a little bit different from one another in their charge status... The uh, AC6 will actually say at capacity, so you just basically hit the start button again and hold it, and then it'll get them up the rest of the way and it'll balance all three. Um, this has worked terrific. I've not had a single problem with it. Um, basically, what I've done is I've even used some of my uh, my bigger batteries. When I've got like a, a 1600 and 1800, I'll do two or three at a time, and that really, really cuts down on the charge time. Um, with a couple of 1600s in hand, again, with a, a 1600, two of them, you charge at 3.2. And if you have a charger that can do it and you have three, you can do it at, uh, you know, 4.8 or whatever it is. So basically it depends upon the charge you have, what amperage it can handle, and then whatever the packs that you're charging. And as you can see, the packs are all going. They're all up at 3.9, balancing all three of them at the same time and getting them charged up. And in the same... 45 minutes that it would take you to charge one pack you got three and for somebody like me that likes to bring five planes to the field and wants batteries for all of them this is just a huge time saver and works real well so hobbyking.com is where i got it it was like 12 bucks plus shipping they have it in deans and they have it in the xt60 plug i think they might even offer another one um if you have a ton of lipos and as you can see i've got a ton of lipos it works real well, otherwise you're stuck using the regular charger and then these slow chargers and they take four hours to do, so not a good solution for me. Um, this has basically saved a bunch of time for me and I know that I can charge stuff up the night before and have 6, 8, 10, 12 packs ready to go 
and you're flying whatever you want when you have a radio like a, a DX8 that I just got or a DX7 like I have and you have model memory and a whole bunch of planes you can fly you want to have the batteries that are available for it um, I believe you can discharge packs with this as well I haven't done it uh, but again you want to check the voltage with a, a voltage checker if you can you can check it on the AC6 one at a time and load them all up so once again this is Jetta Man Dan for rcspeak.com doing a review on the parallel balancing charge board that you can get at Hobby King and other sources online uh, if you have multiple plants and multiple lipos that are the same milliamp it's a great product talk to you guys soon